Hello and welcome. I'm Ijoma Onyato tonight. After months of legal battle, Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal justices unanimously affirm President Muhammadu Buhari as Nigeria's duly elected president in the February 23rd presidential election. People's Democratic Party describes tribunal judgment as subversion of justice, seeks redress at the Supreme Court. Federal government evacuates 178 Nigerians who voluntarily chose to leave South Africa following latest spate of xenophobic attacks in the country. And Bahamas Emergency Services list 2,500 people missing after Hurricane Dorian landing on the island with fears death toll may rise. Business news tonight. Securities and Exchange Commission commences a two-day conference to broaden capital market studies and tertiary institutions across the country. And sports news tonight. France caused the biggest upset of the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup after beating holders the United States to reach the semi-finals. And from the nation's capital, Federal Executive Council holds first post-inauguration sitting. proposes the increase of value-added tax from 5% to 7.2%. The waiting game is finally over and the verdict is out. After four months of legal fireworks, the long wait appears to be over as the Presidential Election Tribunal today affirmed President Muhammadu Buhari as the duly elected president and winner of the February the 23rd presidential election. The ruling, which lasted over eight hours, saw all judges at the tribunal unanimously dismissing the petitions of the People's Democratic Party and its candidate Atiku Abubakar in its entirety. The courtroom was filled to capacity with representatives of the main parties in the suit, some governors of the All Progressives Congress, as well as serving ministers. Some of the highlights of the judgment include, the tribunal ruled that President Muhammadu Buhari is eminently qualified to contest for the 2019 election. The tribunal dismissed the APC's claims that Atiku Abubakar is a Cameroonian and did not qualify to contest for the election. The tribunal denied INEC's request to strike out some of the PDP's witnesses. The tribunal dismissed claims that President Buhari induced voters through the trader money scheme. And the tribunal dismissed the PDP candidate's motion indicting security operatives. But the People's Democratic Party says it's rejecting the judgment, describing it as provocative, barefaced subversion of justice and a direct assault on the integrity of the country's justice system. The party says it's particularly shocked that the tribunal failed to point to justice, despite what it claims are flawless evidence laid before it. It says the evidence showed that President Buhari was not only unqualified to contest the election, but also did not score a majority of valid votes. The party says, quote, the PDP finds it bewildering that a court of law could validate a clear case of perjury and declaration of false information in a sworn affidavit as firmly established against the president, even in the face of incontrovertible evidence, end of quote. The PDP is also asking Nigerians to remain calm and not to lose hope or surrender to despondency or self-help as the party's lawyers are upbeat about obtaining justice at the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, the president believes that the tribunal's ruling is victory for Nigerians who overwhelmingly voted for him for a second term in office. President Buhari says he is dedicating the victory to God and to Nigerians as he extends a hand of fellowship to those whom he says felt aggrieved at the outcome of the election and went to court. The president says, quote, Good conscience fears no evil report. I was unperturbed all along because I knew Nigerians freely gave us the mandate. We are now victorious. Indicated. End of quote. The president also commends the judiciary for dispensing justice without fear or favor. Now, as expected, reactions are pouring in over the verdict of the tribunal, especially from stakeholders in the matter. Now, while politicians from the ruling All Progressives Congress are asking the PDP to accept the judgment in good faith, the PDP national chairman, Mr. Uche Sikondos, says the party will study the judgment before filing any appeal. Our correspondent, Linda Akigbe, reports. 
For over nine hours, lawyers, journalists, politicians and government officials listened to the tribunal deliver his judgment in the petition of the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Alaji Atuku Abubakar, challenging the declaration of President Muhammad Buhari as the winner of the February 23rd presidential election. <laughs> Moments after the tribunal delivers the judgment and takes its final bow, politicians and government officials belonging to the ruling APC and opposition PDP speak with journalists on the judgment. I'm happy that the court have settled each of those issues, namely that he didn't lie on oath, two that he went to secondary school, and I'm afraid that his name is what it is. He didn't lie over his name, and he has no reason to lie over his name. So his personal integrity has again been reaffirmed by the Court of Appeal. As members of his political family, we are happy, we, are, we, are, we thank God, and we have greater confidence in his leadership. I congratulate all. And even for the, all the petitioners, I urge them to embrace and support the mandate given to President Muhammadu Buhari by Nigerians so that we can be less distracted. Our legal team will study it and then we'll come out with official statement. This judgment is turning of the law upside down. To listen to the appeal court judges and hear them even say in a bid to rationalize Buhari's continued stay in office that people do not even need to present their academic qualification while seeking office. The 21st century. Today, Nigerian people have lost a great opportunity to have a reprieve from the ongoing problems in the country. Because if the appeal court judges have treaded the path of justice, equity, and fairness, they would have given Nigerian people. That's why you see the quietness in the land. People are aggrieved. Nigerian people are aggrieved. And the opposition, I've just finished speaking on the phone with Alhaji Atiku Abaka, he's already heading to the Supreme Court. The People's Democratic Party has resolved to head to the Supreme Court that this has to be done within the next 14 days as stipulated in Section 285 of the 1999 Constitution. Linda Akibi, Channels Television News. Today's verdict is a journey that lasted over four months with intense battle in court. Now here's a timeline of the events leading to today's judgment. The verdict is in, but when did it all begin? March 8, 2019, former Vice President and candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, a major potential challenger in the 2019 Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal, filed an ex-party application before the Court of Appeal headquarters in Abuja. He also requested an order compelling INEC to allow access to inspect electoral materials. March 27, 2019, another presidential candidate of the Hope Democratic Party asked the court to disqualify Mr. Buhari and Mr. Atiku. May 8, 2019, the tribunal commenced inaugural sitting chaired by the president of the appeal court, Justice Zainab Bulkachua. The 22nd of May, 2019, Justice Bulkachua recuses herself from the tribunal on personal grounds. May the 23rd, 2019, the tribunal dismisses a suit seeking to stop President Bush's inauguration. June the 13th, 2019, INEC replies Mr. Atiku at the tribunal, says we don't have a server. The APC also asked the court on that day to strike out Mr. Atiku's suit on account of non-citizenship. The 17th of June 2019 saw INEC, President Buhari, the APC asked the tribunal to dismiss the People's Democratic Movement's petition. June the 28th, 2019, court dismisses HDP's request to be removed from the presidential petition. From June to July the 3rd, 2019, the pre-trial hearing started and ended under the new chairman of the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal, Justice Mohamed Garba, who took over from Justice Bokachua. July the 4th, the main petition hearing begins. July the 19th, 2019, saw the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, where the PDP tendered over 1,000 results from polling units and wards. August the 18th, 2019, dismissed Mr. Atiku's petition. He's not Nigerian and has no case, Mr. Buhari and the APC tells the tribunal. 
the 28th of August 2019, parties presented their final addresses. On the 21st of August, the tribunal reserved judgment. Until September 11th, 2019, where the tribunal delivers verdict in the presidential election petition in a judgment that lasted hours. Now let's give you a bit more perspective about what transpired at the tribunal today. Here's our correspondent, Amaka Okafo. A reaction to this petition. It's D-Day and the premises of the appeal court was a beehive of activities as the presidential election tribunal delivers judgment on the petition of the People's Democratic Party and its presidential candidate, al Haji Atiku Abubakar. He has attained the age of 40 years. Present at the tribunal were the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Mr. Adams Oshomole, and his PDP counterpart, Mr. Uche Sekundus. Also in attendance were governors of Kebi and his Plateau State counterpart and the immediate past governor of Bochi State, the Minister of Power, Minister of Justice and the Minister of State for Niger Delta and other politicians on both sides of the divide. The tribunal, in a unanimous decision, dismissed the petition of the PDP and its presidential candidate. The tribunal dismissed the five grounds on which the petitioners predicated their petition for lacking in merit. Justice Gerba, who read the lead judgment, amongst other things, held that none of the grounds upon which the petition was anchored was proved. He also held that the petitioners failed to prove that the president did not qualify to participate in the election. The tribunal also held that the petitioners failed to prove the allegations that the result of the election was transmitted electronically by card reader. Failure by the petitioners to satisfactorily discharge the burden or honest or proof placed on them by law, this petition is liable to be and is hereby dismissed in its entirety. Other members of the panel were Justice Abdul Aboki, Justice Joseph Ikenya, Justice Samuel Oseji, and Justice Peter Ige. They all agreed with the lead judgment. Lord, let me also thank my laws for the opportunity given to us to present our case. And also commend my Lord, my laws that the petition at least was not allowed to expire because that is very, very important to us as petitioners. Unanimous judgment. And for INEC in particular, my lord, we are happy that all my lords say, INEC, you are right not to have transmitted results electronically. My lords were grateful. We have brought all the important petitions to the conclusion, to conclusion by handing down a landmark unanimous decision just delivered. God. The judgment was delivered within the 180 days recommended by law. The petitioners who plan to appeal the judgment will have another 60 days from today to try to overturn the decision of the tribunal. Amaka Okafo, Channel Television News. In part two, after the break, 178 Nigerians who voluntarily chose to leave South Africa have arrived at the Motala Mohammed International Airport here in Lagos. That's in a moment. Do join us again.